Welcome back to my kitchen. This is the Diesel Dummy Gourmet. I'm the big dummy. At tonight, I'm making two simple items here, two simple meals. Um, I'm gonna have some uh, smoked turkey sausage. I'm gonna chop up in little chunks and put it in the, in the frying pan there and uh, brown it and mix it with some mac and cheese. Very simple. But I am also going to be making a very easy chicken and noodle soup recipe. Um, I have my egg noodles. I like using frozen pearl onions. And I have boneless chicken breast, fresh boneless chicken breast, chicken stock. There's my mac and cheese for that. Uh, and I got my handy dandy spice rack. Also, the secret recipe for the chicken noodle soup is just a little bit of Moscato white wine. So we're going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up so I don't contaminate the uh, cutting board with the uh, with the chicken beforehand. So, I'm going to have a paper towels here. Go ahead and wet the paper towel down. Got that one a little bit too wet, but that's okay. Get down there. Take this. Easy open. Let's see how easy this is to open. Looks like it's pretty easy. Okay. Take it out of the package here. Okay. Go ahead and cut off some chunks here. I like doing this way. Just kind of chunking it up. Chunk it up! Move this over out of the way and I'll slice this this way. And I'll slice this this way. And then I'll just take it and slice it in the cube like this. Kind of messing it up, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's for my kids. Actually, my oldest is at work. And my youngest is, went to a bowling tournament up in Cleveland, Ohio. She's actually on her way home on the bus now. It's a long drive. Okay, there's that one. Give me a little bowl. Put this stuff in. Grab my handy dandy scraper, man. Handy dandy scraper. And making a mess. That's me. I uh, sanitized this table before I started the camera. Use a little bit of totally awesome because it is totally awesome. Since we've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the chick, cut up the chicken. So it'll be ready to go and I'll have to move the camera over to where you can see me actually cooking. I'm going to put these over out of the way for right now. I ain't worried about this is pre-cooked. Ain't gonna hurt the chicken any. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out the chicken. Slice it up. Actually, I need to get another bowl. some good old-fashioned PBR. Mm, good stuff. Put the chicken up in the strips like this. Sometimes I use a, you can get a rotisserie chicken, kind of like chop it up, um, or cut, you know, tear it apart and use it instead. That works too. I used to do that to begin with. You get a, especially when you go to like Kroger's or a place like that, they have them on clearance because they've been sitting there a little bit longer than, you know, they're not totally fresh. So you can get them pretty cheap, like three or four bucks. And that's a good way to buy chicken. I went next door to the, the market closest to me and chicken was not cheap there. It was a uh, 4.79 a pound, a little much. 
way too much money. But I hope I got enough chicken. All right, I got plenty because I got six breasts. Six breasts of chicken. Mr. Diesel Dummy Moggins. Hee hee! That's some funky chicken. Let's do the funky chicken. Alright. Move this over into the dish. Sink. Wash thy hands. I got to wash thy hands. I don't have any. Yeah, I got a towel. It's not a fancy dance. Well, it's sort of a fancy dancy towel. I got me another fancy dancy towel. Let's see, should I put it over my shoulder? Over the shoulder. Yeah. Fancy dancy. All right, I'm back. Now it's time to, all right, let's get this show on the road here. First off, we'll go ahead and get the chicken started. So I'll take a little bit of vegetable oil, put it in the bottom of my pan here, a couple tablespoons, just kind of coat it there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some, um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to get me some uh, minced garlic. I got a new bottle of this someplace. I don't know where I did it. We'll go ahead and turn the front on, medium high. Get that oil good and going. And that's for the chicken. What I'm gonna be using for the chicken, I'll break out the spice rack here. My handy dandy spice rack, Lowry's. Boom. Ground thigh, yes, yeah, and time, 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 time. Gotta have some time, some Italian seasoning, a little bit, not much. Parsley flakes, no. Sage, yes. Garlic salt. We're putting garlic in it, so no. Um, chili powder, no. Garlic. Where's my damn onion powder? Leaf oregano. There's my onion powder. Okay, we got that done. Get them out. While that's heating up, I'll go ahead and put some water in this pan. Actually, I'm going to use a deeper pan. That was my, my brother got me these, but it's not quite deep enough for the, it's not quite deep enough for the mac and cheese. So, go ahead and crank on the pure water filter. Put some water in there. I'm going to turn this front one on here so I can start cooking up the kielbasa, the turkey sausage I should say. We have our broth based seasoning. Usually I use nor. Actually I'm going to use some of my nor that I have left. It's going to be pretty good. But that other is pretty good too. Whatever you like. Butter. Yeah, that's enough water. Go ahead and stick that back here. Turn that burner on. Go ahead and dump these in here. So they're good and ready to go. Put that over there. Anything going on outside? Nope, going on outside. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick some garlic in here. Uh, 
I think my daughter is home. No, she's not home. I keep hearing boom, 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 boom. That's what my daughter's stereo sounds like. Boom, 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 boom. She got the boom box. So we got the garlic going there. Go ahead and dump in the chicken. Woo! Splash in the chicken. You got the splash in the chicken. Splash in the chicken. Dun, dun, dun. We'll go ahead and round up the chicken. Start cooking it in the bottom of the pan. Get it nice and brown. We'll go ahead and add the sage. Put about a teaspoon of sage in. We'll add more to taste later. Some onion powder. Since I'm not putting any onions in, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of onion powder in. Some Italian seasoning. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. I like using it. I'll use about a half teaspoon. Some Lowry's. Put some Lowry's in it, just a little bit. And, did I put sage in already? I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Sage, sage, sage. Be right back. Okay. All right, this is the wine I use. It's a Moscato. It's not expensive wine. I think I paid like eleven dollars for this bottle. And I don't need this. You can get a smaller bottle because you don't need that much. It depends on how much wine you want to drink while cooking the food. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. I need a scooper, pooper, duper, super duper scooper for the these bad boys. Turn that down a little bit. Let that go. Go ahead and open the wine. Maybe. A lot of cheap wines don't have forks. Some do. And I am burning up. So I'm about to go and put a different shirt on. Because I can't handle this anymore. I'll be right back. Okay. Shirt's a little too small for my back, but it's a little cooler, that's for sure. Brown that up pretty good there. This shirt is about to get on my nerves. It's too small. Or I got too big is what it is. It'll work for now. Go ahead and finish off the beer. Uh, Excuse me. All right, we're gonna break out something very interesting here. I don't know where I found these, who got them for me, but at Lake Erie, on Middle Bass Island, there used to be a winery called Lonza's. And there was like an accident or something where the, the deck caved in or whatever. Well, I got some, two of the wine glasses from there. Pretty cool. And pour a little bit of wine in there. Check on my chicken. And when I add the water, I just add enough. I'm trying to think. I, I usually add about half. Yeah, about half in this one. Then I'm going to add, you got to be kind of careful with how much water to do noodles because if you add too much noodles, it kind of takes away the broth and I like lots of broth in my soups. I gotta go ahead and break out the, the big pan for, well I'll stick it over here for now so it's not in the way. That's for draining the noodles into. In front up a little bit more. The chicken's smelling good. I'm going to add a little wine to the chicken while I'm cooking it. Just a touch. That's good. Good stuff. And I'm going to add to the mac and cheese a white cheddar and an original. Oh yeah. That reminds me. We are going to need a stick of butter. No, I like to melt my butter for the mac and cheese, so I'll go ahead and break out the stick of butter. 
stick in in the bowl. Then tear the tops off of these. Pour out the cheese mix. Good. Add the noodles. There's one box. Then two boxes of noodles. And what is it? I need a uh, half cup of milk for two boxes. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll use this to stir up the noodles here. Now, these are good. This chicken is getting good here. Okay. Pull that back so you can see me. You want to see me? Uh oh, we gotta turn this down. We're gonna overflow. Woo! Overflowing, baby. There's about four cups. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, there we go. That's why I don't do it. Oh well. About eight cups. About 12 cups. There, that's good enough. I think that's enough. Yep, that's enough. Stir these up some more. I hate it when they stick. We have mm -hmm, a little, about one cup of milk there. One cup of milky, milky milk. Let's stir this up. Let that start to cook. Let that come to a, a boil there a little bit. I'm gonna add some pepper to it. I don't have much pepper left, so a little bit, about a quarter teaspoon. There's only what? I'll go ahead and add what this is right here. That's about three tablespoons of the chicken. We'll add more of the other later when we figure out how much we want. And I'll go ahead and add a little bit more Moscato to it. Probably about a half cup or a quarter cup. About a quarter cup. Now I'll get my wine stopper. Okay, the chicken is cooking. The mac and cheese is cooking. That's good. Let's see how this tastes. Good stuff. Now, we we'll go ahead and get that ready to go. What the strainer? Like I said in my earlier videos, the uh, plumbing is cheap. Pour boiling water down this sink. Thick span, and it all falls apart and leaks. So, I use the pan to drain it in until it cools off, and then I dump it. I think these are about done. Right on. That's not too bad. I'll go ahead and pour that in there. I need melted butter. The noodles, I don't put in until a little later. They don't take long to cook the noodles. We'll go ahead and put these over into here. over out of the way. I'll go ahead and uh, add the milk. One cup of milk. I'm going to go ahead and add some, uh, put a little sage in there, just a little bit. Kind of give it some spice. Spice of life. I think the butter should be done. Okay, pour the melted butter in there. Next, we'll put the powdered, yummy, processed cheese. Pour some in there. Take the hand dandy spoon. Kind of mix the first one up here. A lot of people mix it while you pour it, but eh, whatever you want to do. That one's getting close. And I got sweat in the eyes. I'm making a mess. There's the white cheddar. Yeah, baby. White cheddar. Ooh, on me. I got some cheddar on me. 
You got any cheddar? Yeah, right here. I got some cheddar right here. Macaroni and cheese with kale balsos. Put those in there. Okay, I'm gonna bring you over here and show you what you what you got. There is the macaroni and cheese and kielbasa turkey sausage. And over here we have the chicken noodle soup. It is cooking. We will stir it. Like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said, we'll probably put more water in there. I don't know. We'll put this back over here. Let it sit. I'm going to taste that. See what it's like. Make a bowl of it. Because I am hungry. A little bit. Get my big old fan. I love my special spoon. This spoon right here. Great. My grandmother had this spoon in her house. And I lived there for a while before I moved to Zanesville. And I always used a spoon. And I told she knew I liked it, so when I moved here, she sent it to me. Mm. That's good. That's damn good. Simple things like that. They're just amazing how good it is. But well that's cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit, so I'm gonna pause it for a while. For the moment here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the pearl onions. Probably going to add about, you know, about half a bag. I don't know. I'll see. But I'm going to put it over here. I'm not on the tripod anymore, so. And I'm sweating my butt off. But uh, I'll uh, show you how much I add when I'm done. I went ahead and just added the whole bag. The whole bag. Yep. The whole bag so I'm gonna definitely add some more water to it but I'll be back shortly well I ended up adding about six more cups of water to it so all together I got about 24 cups of water in this pot and it is about that full and I added a little bit more broth base probably about two tablespoons for now once this comes to a boil I want to add some noodles I want to try to figure out, kind of judge how many noodles I want to put in. I might be able to put all of them in there, but I don't know. There. It's time to run the dishwasher. The dishwasher. There we go. Let's make a trip to Sam's Club before too long. Man, it is freaking hot in here. Stir this up a little bit here. Bring this to a boil. Take them forever. I think I'm done for most of the spices here. I'm gonna put some of them back. I might add some more later to taste. I didn't have any time in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. There, just in case. Just in time. <laughs> My Lowry's back. I'm gonna get some more Lowry's. I can sit out. Go ahead and put this back up where it belongs. Hold on. It should be, uh, there's a chicken. Looking pretty good. Chick, 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 chicken out. It's a lot of chicken noodle soup. I'm going to have to make room in the freezer because I'm running out of room. But it looks like I'm eating chicken noodle soup on the road when I go back to work on Monday morning. Back to the grind on Monday. Full week of work. Ugh. Been having it pretty easy. I had 10 days off. Went back out on the road for two days. Come back Christmas Eve. Left the day after Christmas for two days and then come in last night. So three days off. And then back on the grind. And then I worked for five days. Off to. Work for five again. I gotta go back on freaking New Year's Eve morning of the New Year's Eve, but that's all right. Eventually, I think I'm gonna switch over to a just a regular five two. More money, and uh, plus I get my own truck pretty much. Because right now with this program, there's three of us drivers. Right now there's only two because they're looking for someone to fill the third driver position. 
we have two trucks and the way it works out them trucks never stop because you know I drive one for five days I'm off for two and someone else immediately jumps in that and drives for five days and I come home or I come back to work and jump in the other truck for five days and then I'm off for three and that truck immediately goes to the next guy so it's a good way to keep the trucks moving it kind of sucks because I clean it out every time I'm done and we clean them out good you know scrub them scrub them out pretty good but it's a good job I mean I miss having my own truck where I didn't have to worry about it but the difference in pay I'll clean trucks all damn day long and I went for you know, most companies pay you a mileage you know say a good example I used to leave over in Columbus on the southwest side and go to um, Columbia, Maryland, which is outside of Baltimore. It's 420 miles, exactly. They pay you for 389, 393. So, you know, that's all you get, it's mileage pay. Granted, I made more per mile than I do now. Not much more, very little. But with this company, I get paid whatever that damn truck runs. So, and then plus I also get paid for arriving at a place, hooking a trailer, drop hook a trailer, or live loads, or if I have to sit and wait, I get an hourly rate after a certain amount of time, and also get paid layover pay. They pay me for sleeping in the truck. <laughs> it all adds up to be pretty good pay to payday. And I'm supposed to be getting a raise, so. So they say. We'll see what happens. That's looking pretty darn good right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and break out another spoon since I washed my other spoon. Washed it. I washed it with the washcloth. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think it might need a little bit more chicken flavor. Not much though. Yeah. It's going to need a little bit more. I'll go ahead and add get another spoon. Go ahead and add, there's one. I had two more tablespoons of this stuff. For now, see how it goes. Stir it up here, it's starting to boil. So I'll go ahead and let the onions cook a little bit. Make sure they get good and tender. Got some Mrs. Mueller's old fashioned wide egg noodles. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't know who the hell she is, but she makes okay noodles. That's one thing I want to try sometimes, make my own noodles. Never done it. Be a neat video. Probably flop bigger than crap. We got this bad boy boiling now. I'll go ahead and uh, grab a, I'm gonna grab an onion too. See how they're doing. These pearl onions are awesome. Mm. I do believe that's pretty good. I want to add a little bit more Moscato to it. Just because I can. There. A little bit more Moscato to this, too. All right, I think we'll go ahead and add Mrs. Mueller's to it. We'll see how that goes there. And then I'm just going to add the whole package. Let that cook. Pretty much once the noodles are cooked, you know, once they're soft, it's pretty much edible. It's done. It's, it, the longer you cook it, the better it simmer, the better it is too. But And then when you reheat it later, very good. Oh, yeah, we'll get a uh, view here. As you can see, I took the Christmas stuff down today. My recliner is still up in my bedroom, and I think I'm going to leave it up there because I sleep in the recliner, and I usually just sleep in the living room. But I like it upstairs, so I'm going to have to get a different chair for right there. Uh, there's a chair that matches the cushions that went with this set that I'm thinking about going ahead and grabbing. But, yeah, that's our living room as of right now. I don't know if I showed these before, but the top one here... 
was my grandpa's boat, my mom's father. He had it docked up in Lake Erie. He had two of them. This one's a Chris Craft named Marla. He had it and got rid of it before I was born in the 60s. And the bottom one is a painting of my grandpa Morgan's boat, my dad's father. And that was at Lake White in Southern Ohio. And that boat was called, it's a carver. And they named it Sneaky Pete. But I got some other pictures because I like boats and stuff. There's some Chris Craft ads there. And up the hallway here, I don't know if you can see it, we got a picture of the Edmunds Fitzgerald. Here's Sierra's room and Katie's room. Nice pirate ship treasure map and a whole wall of pictures. And up there is, we'll zoom in on it, a map of all the shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to put you back over here so you can uh, see what's going on. I think I had a little bit too much water. That's okay. You can always use the broth or something else. Can it, freeze it, use it for something else. It's a good broth. It'll be really good. We'll let that simmer and let the uh, noodles cook and stuff. That's what we got going on right there. All the onions are floating to the top. We got to bring up some chicken and stuff here. There's the chicken and noodles. We'll leave that sit. There's the macaroni and cheese and kielbasa. That was a pretty interesting quick video. I got to come up with some more stuff to cook. Um, got the spaghetti and meatballs, but that's pretty easy. It's nothing fancy. I use store-bought sauce. I use uh, frozen. I'm going to make my own meatballs. That's what I'm going to do. I got the beef. I need the sausage. I think the next weekend I'm off, I'm going to make some chicken noodle or some my own meatballs. And uh, there's other things I want to try, like stuffed peppers, um, potatoes and cabbage with corned beef. Ooh, buddy. Should I add a little bit more chicken to that? You know what? I'm going to be a little strange here. I'm going to do something totally off the wall. Totally off the rocker. I'm going to add just a tad bit of beef base. Just for the hell of it. Just to give it a little twist. You don't have to do that. Just I like trying new things. Gonna make it darker, it's gonna, not gonna be look like regular chicken noodle soup. Of course, my chicken noodle soup's never clear. A lot of people are like, oh, it's got clear soup, clear soup. No clear soup here. Clear wine. Mm. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. I'm not gonna put carrots. Oh, some other stuff in it, but yeah. Don't think so. Not today. Try a piece of chicken. That's good. I want to add a little something else to it. I can add a little pizzazz. We got a little bit of sinus problems or sinus things going on. You know, like that. I think we'll add a little bit of spice to it. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a tad bit. Add a little pizzazz, get them, get them nostrils burning a little bit, that snot running out of your nose a little bit. Yeah, that tastes. I think I just put just enough in there, just enough. You know what? A little bit of ground mustard. Just because, like happy little treat, like a Bob, I'm like Bob Ross at cookie, you know, a little bit of happy, happy spices, a little bit of happy spices, maybe a little bit more sage, sage is good, that's a new sage, I can't use a new sage, I know, it needs more garlic, so I add some more garlic salt, 
There you go. Uh, got the sage. There we go. That'll work. Give me a bowl. And a lady, a lady, a lady, a lady, a lady. Yoo-hoo! Ladle me out a little bit. Test it out here. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of noodles. Little bit of garnishment. What to do with it? There we go. Just add a. Oh. There. Okay, finish cooking a little bit. And. Voila! A chicken and noodle soup. Chicken and noodle soup. That's good. That's excellent. Well, that's it for now. I will post the, the ingredients that I used for both things after the video is over. So, thanks for watching. See you later.